なんだ地震かいや違うなあの山みてえなシルエットに見覚えがねえかなんなのよあいついくらなんでも大きすぎるわみんな気をつけてあれはドンキホーテファミリーの最高幹部ピーカだよお前がのにわなの,のルフィーかさあ我がファミリーに立てつく者たちはこれが相手に<笑>相変わらず声だけしーやめろルフィー挑発すなガンティさん似合わねえ<笑>あんな化け物と戦って大丈夫なの構えはしねえよ見たところあの時と何も変わっちゃいねえこいつのことはよく覚えてる切りがいのある相手だったぜこの1カットシーンは完全に表現したこの全てのゲーム It's a goofy, light-hearted, and ridiculous experience, and I loved every minute of it. One Piece Odyssey is an amazing adaptation to the One Piece anime. Now, I will admit, I don't watch One Piece, and my knowledge of One Piece lore is very limited. I think the last time I watched the show was when it was still airing on 4Kids. Yeah, it's been a good minute. So, jumping into this game, I was kind of worried that I would be lost because I knew next to nothing about this series. But I was willing to give it a try, and boy, did this game prove me wrong. This game was actually surprisingly really easy to get into. You see, Odyssey was developed with the target audience for mostly the newcomers who didn't really know much about One Piece. And the fact that this game is more casual focus all but confirms that this game was made to introduce people to the anime series. I don't really think that this is a bad thing because this allows developers to focus on polishing other aspects of the game like the story or the graphics. But I'm getting way too ahead of myself here. Let me start with one of the better parts of the game the story. The story in Odyssey is probably the best and biggest selling point that this game has, or more specifically, the characters in the One Piece universe that make this game an absolute joy to play with. The story is that the Straw Hat Pirates are one day sailing on the ocean headed for the next adventure that awaits them. All of a sudden, they get caught up in a really big storm that tosses their ship to the mysterious island of Wafford, breaking their ship and leaving them stranded in the process. They then meet a strange girl that can control memories on the island, and she takes away their powers all of a sudden. And now you play as the Straw Hats as they search for a way to get their strength back and leave the island of Wafford. The story in Odyssey is pretty simple, but the thing is, One Piece Odyssey isn't really about the story, it's about the world. If you're looking for a Shakespearean level storytelling with philosophical characters, then you're looking in the wrong place. One Piece is really not that deep, and it doesn't need to be. It's about the power of friendship and punching bad guys in the face. And that's alright because the characters are lovable and the world is immersive. Even for someone like me who knows very little about One Piece, I now understand why this series is so beloved. Because while playing this game, I ended up loving the colorful cast of characters in this universe. It felt like I was watching one long episode of One Piece, and I enjoyed every moment of it because the cast of characters are so endearing and so memorable. You could point to any character, and I could easily identify their quirk. Luffy loves food, Zoro is really bad with directions, and Sanji is a simp. I could do the rest of the crew, but then this video would end up being really long. But that's not the point. It also really helps that this game is fully voice acted with the original voice actors for the anime. I would say that 80% of this game is voice acted with cutscenes, and to some people, the amount of cutscenes here might be annoying, and I can see why. It's a really common occurrence in this game to have a cutscene end and give control back to the player just to have you walk forward 5 feet into another cutscene. And yeah, that did get annoying after a while. But honestly, I didn't mind because I just love watching more of the characters interact with each other. And this colorful cast of characters honestly makes this whole game worth it. Not only are the characters great, but the graphics for Odyssey are surprisingly really good. 
and it got me by surprise because I don't usually expect anime games to have the best graphics, but this game proved to be the exception because this game is beautiful. On your journey through the memories of the past, you experience a wide range of settings that all feel like they're bustling with life. And it just makes this game so vibrant and interesting to explore. It also helps that this game ran buttery smooth the entire time without one hitch. Which is actually pretty rare these days considering how many games today come out buggy and unoptimized. It's a miracle this game was released while it needed day one patch to fix the game. Alright, so I've talked about the good parts of the game. Now it's time to talk about the not so great parts. And most of it has to deal with the gameplay. First, let's talk about what kind of game this is. One Piece Odyssey is a turn-based RPG that's set in the One Piece universe. The thing about Odyssey's turn-based combat is that they kind of do something different. During combat, the battlefield is separated into different areas and both your party and the enemies are split randomly into those areas. You can't attack enemies in a different area unless you have a long-range ability, and you can't move a character to a different area if there are enemies in front of them, but you can swap characters for free. Now in concept this is a pretty interesting spin on the classic turn based formula, but this game doesn't do nearly enough to make it really stand out. There's also like this generic type triangle that gives strengths and weaknesses to your characters, but this isn't really enough to keep the gameplay interesting. You see, the main problem with the gameplay is that it can get stale fast because they don't mix it up at all. There is never a fight in this game with a unique mechanic. What you're doing at the beginning of the game is the exact same thing you'll be doing at the end of the game. And it's a real shame that they don't change up the gameplay because they could have done some really interesting things. Like having enemies swap areas or having them change typing mid-battle. Literally anything. Another negative that I have with the combat is that it's really easy. Most of the enemies in this game don't do nearly enough damage or have any unique gimmick that forces you to think about your next approach. And you can usually one-shot most enemies if your characters are on level. Not to mention that you're given most of your roster at the beginning of the game and you can swap characters in and out for free. These gameplay decisions, while better for someone newer to JRPGs, make the game really easy for more experienced players. And there is even a difficulty option, so you have to go through the game like this. What also disappointed me were the bosses in this game, because they're essentially just normal enemies with bigger health pools. I would expect the bosses out of all enemies to have some unique gimmick or attack that would make me have to play differently, but nope, they do the exact same thing. And it really sucks because it's just a huge missed opportunity to be creative with these fights and really show what the combat is capable of. And another smaller problem that I have with Odyssey is how on rails it is. Oftentimes during the story, they would tell you to go to a certain spot for a cutscene, but you can only go to that spot. And if you try to deviate from that set path, the game would just tell you to go back. It gets really annoying that you're not allowed to explore. Like, just let me go on my own, damn it! All in all, even though I had a lot of gripes with the gameplay, it didn't really take too much off my enjoyment of the game, and I still had a lot of fun adventuring with the Straw Hat Pirates. Even though the game felt too easy and the combat left a lot to be desired, the endearing characters and the vibrant world make up for it, while also getting me interested in the One Piece lore. Now, I know JRPGs are kind of an acquired taste, especially for an anime that you don't watch, but if you're willing to try some out, I think this game is 100% worth getting at full price. And if you're already a One Piece fan, I think you should definitely get this game because it would not let you down. That's it for this video. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews in the future. See ya.